Now, I'm back at base at the Irish TV studios this week, and I'm absolutely delighted to be here because I think you're going to really, really love our next item. Of course, people right across the UK and in Ireland watch our programme on Sky TV Channel 191 every week. And the man beside me is a big fan of Irish TV. His name is John Finn, and he comes from just outside Manchester, a little area around Wigan. And when he was in Ireland on his holidays, well, he decided he'd come down to the Irish TV studios. And while here, I said, well, I might as well find out a little bit more about him. You're very, very welcome to the studio, John. Thanks very much, Piers. Uh, <clears throat> well, we're touring around, and because of uh, our son, Martin, he's got severe autism, but he's uh, a real lover of, a real passion for music, uh, Irish music, uh, country music, pop music. So we decided we'd track down uh, Irish TV, and we got a very warm welcome. So we're here, and hopefully Martin might do a bit of singing in a bit. Now, tell us a little bit. You've been watching our programme uh, out and about in Ireland for a while. Oh, yes, we never miss it. Um, Martin, uh, he just can't wait. He's, um, he's waiting it for maybe 15, 20 minutes before the programme will come on. So it's, a, it's definitely the television has to be pretty well tuned in for, for anything, to do, anything to do with Ireland. It's, um, Irish TV is, is doing a marvellous job. So we're really very grateful to be invited in here today. And hopefully Martin will, I say, will do a bit of singing later on. Now, John, you mentioned that uh, Martin was uh, born with severe autism. How did you find out about that? And I suppose, what was your reaction and your own wife's reaction when you heard that news? Well, it's got a knock-on effect, obviously. Uh, we couldn't really detect how severe things would be, obviously, until Martin got a bit older, we'd say 10, 12, 15. But obviously, he's got very severe autism. But he's got a real passion for music, so um, he listens to anything to do lots of he's got quite a, a choice of music really um, pop music um, country music irish music in particular irish country music is probably his favorite so and how would you describe his autism uh, to describe really he's 21 year old and i would say in plain terms he's got all the symptoms of a toddler really uh, he's got no sense of danger he's non-verbal um, like, really, he's got all the symptoms of a toddler. So he has never, ever spoken? No, he's, ne he's got the odd word, but he hasn't really... You couldn't have a conversation with him because he, he can't really put meaning into the words as such. Uh, for him, how he can sing, really, is amazing because he will sit at home and he will play CDs. And if he likes one track, he'll play it over and over. And that's his method of, of learning, really. How was your own uh, and your wife's life affected over the last 21 years? Uh, it's, it's it's hard enough at times, really, but, uh, you know, you can work around things, and if you get a bit of help and a bit of support, really, it's it takes a lot of... It's 24-7, it's really, because, like I say, he, he needs a lot of support and a lot of care. Talk to me a little bit about the CD, how you went about recording that, and, I suppose, the outcome and the difficulty. Well, yeah, I mean, again, his, his teacher, Calvin... Um, I think he picked up at school that he, he would be trying to teach him lots of different things and he discovered Martin would just sing louder and louder. So I think he decided to, to get a karaoke machine and work, get some backing tracks and Ma one of his teachers was getting married. There's a bit of a story attached to it. One of the lady teachers and they asked Martin to come if he would sing at the wedding and a lot of the people were really surprised um, how well he could sing for somebody that was non-verbal. And this is really how the CD was put together and there was, you know, some great people involved uh, that really helped with it. Now, people watching will be amazed because they'll say, well, he can't speak and he doesn't have words. How does he remember the words of the songs then? <laughs> it's a mystery, really, but he, he, you know, he will sit at home and he will, if he gets a new CD and there's an, one or two tracks he likes, he will play them over and over and then he's got it because he can't really learn them anything as such. He can't get in there to... Uh, it's, it's really like a copying machine, really. Whatever comes out of the end, that's what you, that's what you have. My life is brilliant My life is pure I saw an angel Oh, I'm sure she smiled on the subway. She
she was running off a man But I wouldn't turn to sleep or night Cause I've got a plan You're beautiful You're beautiful You're beautiful It's true I saw your face In a crowded place And I don't know Thank you. 